Okay, in this tutorial I want to show you how to apply Kramer's rule for solving uh, for the unknown, unknown voltages in this case. This is example 1a in which we are solving for uh, the two unknown node voltages V1 and V2. So once we have written the uh, two KCL conservation of charge equations, we end up with uh, these two equations here. And I'm going to put this in matrix form to begin with. So I have um, a conductivity matrix <clears throat> I'll call G and V1, V2 equal to 3 amps and 2 amps. And beginning with the first equation, then I have 0 0.7 V1 plus minus 0.2 times V2 is equal to 3. And then I have in the second equation minus 0.2 times V1 plus 1.2 times V2. So this is my matrix equation G times V is equal to I. Now, in order to apply Kramer's rule, you have to know how to take the derivative, or I'm sorry, the determinant of a matrix. In the case of a 2 by 2, it's very easy to do, so I'm just going to do it for you. You can look up um, online how to do a de determinant determinant for a 3 by 3. It does become more complicated, but in the end, it's just a, it's a turn the crank uh, kind of operation, so uh, just a matter of of knowing what the steps are. All right, the determinant of G, we use a lot of times the capital del operator for determinant. Determinant of G is um, equal to, we use these uh, vertical bars like magnitude, absolute value, or magnitude. And so we would, we could make a substitution and write the following. Or we put the matrix, instead of putting it in the brackets, we put straight lines. That means determinant. For 2 by 2, calculating the determinant is very simple. You go top, start at the top, and go to the bottom right, and you take the product. So you multiply 0.7 times 1.2 minus the negative 0.2 times negative 0.2. So let's write that out. It would be 0 0.7 times 1.2 minus negative 0.2 times negative 0.2. In other words, uh, this is going to be 7 times 12 one hundredths minus, uh, what is that, 2 times 2 one hundredths. This is 84 minus 4, so it's 80 over 100, or 0 0.8. For Kramer's rule, we have to define another determinant. I call it del 1. And it is equal to, what you do, is you start with the matrix G, but then you're going to substitute one of the columns. You're going to replace one of the columns with the, the current vector. 3, 2. So for del 1, what we do is we we stick um, the 3, 2 in the first column, and then we replicate, we just copy down the remainder of G. So we're just bringing this over here. We calculate the determinant again, so we'll have 3 times 1.2 minus 2 times negative 0.2. That is equal to 3.6 plus 0 0.2 or 4. And we re repeat this one more time. Oops. Del 2. Now we're going to copy down the first column from G and we will place the current vector in the second column. Computers being sluggish. 3 and 2. 
come on. There we go. So this is equal to 0.7 times 2 minus 3 times negative 0.2. In other words, 1.4 plus 0.6 or 2. And now we are ready to solve for V1. Oops, sorry. We are ready to solve for V1 and V2. V1 then, by Cramer's rule, is equal to del 1 over the determinant of our G matrix, del 2. V2 is del 2 divided by the determinant of our G matrix. In other words, we have 4 divided by what was uh, divide by 0 0.8 which is 40 divided by 8 which is 5 and we have 2 divided by 0 0.8 which is 2.5 and that is the answer that we found uh, from our other methods of solving so that's how you apply Cramer's rule